What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE Elite action figure news for you guys. Very exciting stuff getting into it. Now, this morning when I got up, I realized my brother, Unstable1047 Christian, made a video on this exact topic. And I had already planned to do a video on this because yesterday I saw this on Prime underscore Wrestling's Instagram story. I do believe he works at retail and he's able to see when certain sets are coming in. So I wanted to give a huge shout out to Unstable1047 and my boy Prime underscore underscore wrestling both for this information that we're going to be viewing here today again i think prime does work at target if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong about that if i am i do apologize for that but i think he does work at retail so he gets the you know the insider knowledge on sets that are coming up and when he finds that stuff out he will let us know so today we have from a pretty good reliable source that this is going to be true now some of this we already know for a fact because we saw it at comic-con at home we've seen these images prior we know some of these sets that are coming forward but we do have some brand new stuff here today guys and it's very exciting so let's go ahead and dive in with elite series 81 through 85 we have like the full sets and waves and we're going to cover all of it and what we think about it and you know we, we you guys can let me know what you think of the sets down in the comment section below but let's go ahead and dive in guys starting out with elite series 81 we already knew all of these but you guys can see it on the screen we have the rock shinsuke nakamura angelo dawkins montez Ford, bianca Belair, stone cold steve austin and may young which is the exclusive as you guys can see in the right corner again we already knew these were coming we've already seen images of all these we saw the proto images the only ones we don't really know about are the rock and Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, we saw Angelo Dawkins, Ford, we saw Belair, Austin, and Young all at Comic-Con at home on the render images. I'm very excited to see what those guys look like in the final product form, but for The Rock and Shinsuke Nakamura, I, I, I'm, I'm imagining Shinsuke's probably going to be in one of his full body suits. You know, we've got many basics of him in his full body suits, but we have not yet seen him in an elite form in those full body suits. Hopefully, they don't do it like Velveteen Dream of the Elite 72 and give him some massive jack torso with the, you know, with the shirt or with the, the torso sculpted with the shirt over it. Hopefully that's actually a skinny mold and it looks really good and it doesn't look too, too jacked. But hopefully the Shinsuke figure will end up looking good regardless of what, you know, attire we getting things. And then with the Rock, I really don't know what it could be. Uh, I'm imagining it would be a somewhat newer Rock figure. I don't remember the last time he was in wrestling gear. Maybe WrestleMania 32 was the last time he was in wrestling gear. I could be wrong about that unless I'm just completely, you know, forgetting something over the top of my skull. But I think WrestleMania 32 was the last time he, you know, he came down to the ring and then he stripped down and then he fought off the Wyatt family with John Cena. I think that's the last time so that may be what we get. I'm not sure. We'll have to see but I do. I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be a bald rock so we'll just have to see. But getting into Elite Series 82 guys this one we do know some of the figures in this set we saw back at Comic Con at home and the first figure in this set is going to be Keith Lee which we did see and I think he is the Chase variant version in this set as well so Keith Lee is going to be in this set. We also have John Morrison. We also have Alexa Bliss. We have Rob Gronkowski, Jerry the King Lawler and Davy Boy Smith, which is the exclusive figure. And then a figure that's in this set that we had no idea about is going to be Finn Balor. So Finn Balor is going to be in Elite Series 82. What a big what a big thing for me, because I love Finn Balor. He's one of my favorite talents, and to see him in this Elite 82 series is very exciting for me. First of all, you know, it's, it's probably going to be an updated NXT Elite. I think it's been a, a little while now since he's been in NXT. I think it's actually been over a year now since he reappeared in NXT. So I think it's pretty damn obvious that it will be an NXT. NXT Elite Finn Balor, which is super exciting for me. I'm sure we'll get the hand tat. I don't think we'll get all of the forearm tats. We'll probably get, you know, the dinosaur tattoo. We'll probably get his longitude latitude code tattoo on the back of his tricep. And so that's what I would guess. I'm guessing his brand new tattoos that are around the dinosaur probably won't be included in that. Or, or it just may, it may just have a sleeve on it. It may be a sleeve where it covers all the tattoos anyway, uh, besides the, the hand tattoo that we get. So we'll just have to see about that. I hope he comes with interchangeable gun shooter hands. We'll have to see about that. I know when, you know, you're dealing with, you know, you're catering to kids and stuff. I don't know if they want gun shooter hands or not, but we got it with Kenny Omega and the AEW figure, so maybe they'll include those because Finn does do that in his matches a lot, especially when he's in the corner doing the shotgun drop kick. So maybe we'll get that. I would love to see gun shooter hands with our Finn Balor and hopefully maybe even a leather jacket in his full black X Finn Balor attire. So hopefully that's what we get with that. But Elite Series 82 is looking pretty good. The full set looks good. I'm excited for Lee, Balor, Morrison. The Bliss figure does look good. Don't really care for Gronk and then Jerry Lawler is what it is. Maybe I can finally make my Jimmy King. Custom and then Davy Boy Smith is the exclusive, which we did see at Comic Con at home. Now, diving into Elite Series 83, guys, this one is pretty damn nice. I don't think we've seen any of these, maybe two of them. I think that there's only two figures that we've seen in this set, but pulling it up, guys, you guys can see we have Edge 2020, Drew McIntyre, Velveteen Dream, Dusty Rhodes, Trash Corbin, Sasha Banks, and then the last figure in the set is going to be Michael Hayes, which is the exclusive, which we did know the information about a while ago. For Edge 2020, we already know that we are getting the Ultimate Edition Edge 2020 
came from the Royal Rumble where he returned. So I highly doubt that the Elite 83 figure is going to be Edge from the Royal Rumble. That wouldn't make too much sense, would it? So I'm guessing it's going to be from the greatest wrestling match ever from Backlash where he took on Randy Orton in the black attire, which I am super okay with. And this is what makes this even better. If you guys hate the Ultimate Edition torsos, you don't want to, you know, you don't care about the double jointed arms and you don't care about things like that. All you'd have to do is take off the Edge 2020 from Elite 83. If you torso swap that with your Ultimate Edition, you could put the same gauntlets and arms and head sculpt and torso from that figure over on your Ultimate Edition Royal Rumble Return Edge legs. And there you go. You would have an updated Elite that would work perfectly for you. So there you go with that one. That is one that I'm super excited for. I'm definitely the most excited for that figure out of this set because I, I remember when he came out in that attire, I told Bill that I wanted that in figure form and it looks like we're going to get it. So hopefully that will be the case here with this. With Drew McIntyre, I'm guessing it's probably going to be his Royal Rumble gear that we got if if at all possible it may even be his Wrestlemania gear where he won the championship is what I would guess as well because this is going to be Elite 83 I would guess we'll probably get Elite 83 probably in 2021 by this point now so by the time this figure comes around it'll probably be a year after the Royal Rumble or Wrestlemania that would fit perfectly with his Royal Rumble or Wrestlemania gear where he won the championship as far as Velveteen Dream is concerned I'm not exactly sure what attire they could do they could do a lot of them but they're going to give him the Jack Torso anyway and I'm not that big of a fan of Velveteen Dream Dream, never really have been a fan of him so for me that's it doesn't really matter what it is the figure probably won't look that good because of that jack torso so i don't know dusty roads there's so many different dusties they could make but i am happy to get another dusty i think i only have one in the collection trash corbin we already saw this figure we know that it's going to be the dean ambrose ja jeff hardy torso which is kind of odd for trash corbin but that is what we're going to be getting sasha banks is the ringside exclusive figure that we knew that we were getting remember it was a ringside exclusive then it got pushed back to the main elite line and now here it is and for michael Hayes, we have no idea what it could be. We're just going to have to see about that. And for these exclusives, I'm not sure if they're going to be Walmart or Target and where they're flipping back and forth. I'm not exactly sure. I have literally only seen like one collector's edition figure ever, maybe two in like all of my years of trying to get these things or the last two years that these things have been in existence. Or even the last year, I've only seen like two ever at, at, at Walmart only. I think one was out of town. I got Pat Patterson. And then one time I saw Bob Backlund at my local Walmart. Outside of that, I've never seen any of the others. I've never seen like like, not a John Brown one of the other exclusives. Oh, yeah, I found the Rock one time as well. The Elite 69 Rock, I think I found that one time. Outside of that, never seen the other one, so I don't know about that. Anytime I want to get an exclusive, I would have to search it out online, and I think that's the case for a lot of people, but if it's a Target exclusive, you can pretty much hang that up. I don't ever find the Collector's Edition Target exclusives. Moving on to Elite 84, guys, another pretty good set right here. We have Jeff Hardy, Bray Wyatt, Angel Garza, Sheamus, figure 26, then you have a blank figure, and then you have Zelina Vega as the exclusive. Now, this is very interesting. Jeff Hardy, I don't know. I mean, it could be so many different Hardys. For Hardy, you don't ever know because it could be, you know, a brand new face paint Jeff. It could be from the last 20 years of Jeff Hardy. So, we're just going to have to see exactly what that is, whether it's a flashback or it's a current day. doesn't really matter. As far as Bray Wyatt is concerned, I would guess that it would probably be the Firefly Funhouse Bray that the basic we got. You guys know the basic that we got for, for Bray Wyatt. I'm guessing it would be that because you guys know we're getting the ring set exclusive Bray Wyatt that I think actually is shipping out now so hopefully that review will be up for you guys very soon that has the black pants and like no real shirt detail I'm guaranteeing they're gonna redo that figure in the actual khakis with the nice collar sculpted on there and everything like that so that figure will be heavily improved is what I, if I had to guess that's what this this figure would be in Elite 84 it doesn't say the fiend so I highly doubt it'll be a fiend figure I'm guessing it will be Bray Wyatt in the red sweater and it will look just like the basic which should be really really epic Angel Garza we've already seen we already know exactly what that's gonna look like we saw that at Comic Con at home the figure looks good. Maybe they'll fix those little divots on the legs for the tights mold, and I'm guessing he's going to come with removable cloth pants. For Sheamus, I really don't know. I'm guessing it's going to be his return figure, you know, where he, he went back to his old haircut, so he got rid of the mohawk. He grew his hair back out like just the spiky regular hair, so I'm guessing that's what the Sheamus figure will be. Now, figure 26, I have no idea what that could be, but we do know that Rhea Ripley is a part of Elite Series 84, so I'm guessing figure 26 or the blank figure is going to be Rhea Ripley, which is a really beautiful figure that I've been looking forward to. Can't wait to add her into the women's division here. So the Rhea Ripley figure will be one of these two figures. As far as the blank figure or the figure, I don't know what figure 26 means. I'm not sure exactly what that means. But Rhea Ripley is definitely confirmed for Elite 84. We've seen it on many sites and many web pages that have confirmed her for 84. So we know that Rhea Ripley will be in there. And then Zelina Vega as the exclusive is very interesting. That kind of reminds me of back in the day, like a few years back when we would have gotten Walgreens exclusives. So this is pretty interesting. You would think that would be a Walgreens exclusive. I know they've, you know, they've kind of trashed the Walgreens exclusive idea but that's what that just reminds me of. I know we've gotten Liv Morgan. We've gotten we've gotten 
Sonya Deville as well as a women's exclusive figure, but I don't know why Zelina Vega just seems like that Maurice and, you know, that, that kind of Walgreens exclusive figure, but I'm guessing it's going to be Target or Walmart just the same. And then the last set that we have, guys, for today is Elite Series 85, and, and last but not least, guys, in this set, we have Cross, Roman, Alistair Black, Bray number 2, Escobar, and Liv Morgan. There's no exclusive yet announced for Elite Series 85 here. So the first figure in the set, guys, is going to be Carrie and Cross. I call him Killer Cross still, so I, I don't know. I just call him Killer Cross. It's just, it comes off the tongue better than Carrion, so I call him Killer Cross, which is a really epic figure. The custom that you're probably going to see in this video is going to be by BEW Animations. He made a really fantastic Cross custom that looks so good, and so that will be really beautiful to see. I know a lot of people are big on Cross. I'm not a huge fan of Cross. I know that he has recently been injured, so I hope for a speedy recovery for him, but I'm not big on him, but this will be a very cool figure. I'm sure his figure will be really badass. You have a Roman Reigns, which, I mean, my God, there's going to be a million and a half different ways we could get Roman Reigns, but by the time we're seeing this, it's probably going to be an updated Roman Reigns since this is so far in the future. By the time we get this, it could be so many different attires, but I'm guessing it will be a heel Roman Reigns or an updated Roman Reigns, and hopefully that figure will be badass when we get it. Alistair Black, again, tons of different gears we can get. A lot of people are searching for Alistair Black still. A lot of people don't have an Alistair Black. They don't have the Target exclusive. They don't have the, you know, the NXT Elite. They don't have the Elite 73, so I know a lot of people are going to be excited to track down the Alistair Black. Bray number two, have no idea what that means. I mean, Bray number two, I guess it's going to be a Bray Wyatt in a different kind of gear. It, it, is it going to be wrestling gear? Is it going to be the same, you know, Bray Wyatt in the red sweater? I don't know. We'll just have to see about that. That is very interesting to me why they would put Bray number two. Maybe we won't get Bray number two. All, all of these lines obviously are subject to change, but I'm guessing that if they don't appear now, they will appear later if they are not in these sets that we are showing off here today, but I'm not exactly sure what kind of Bray Wyatt that could be. You never know. It could be the red sweater. It could be one of his random matches. It could be one of the Firefly Funhouse matches. It could be all kinds of stuff. So for Bray number two, I have no idea what we could get. Underneath Bray, guys, you will see that it says Escobar, and I'm guessing this is going to be the current Cruiserweight Champion Santos Escobar from NXT is what I would be guessing. Now, I feel like a lot of people don't even know who this guy is, but he is a really good in-ring talent. I think his figure will be really cool. Another luchador that we can add to our, you know, our NXT or Cruiserweight divisions. And so Escobar will be a really cool figure. Probably one of the most underrated figures in the set. So that will be a really nice figure to see. Maybe interchangeable mask head sculpt and stuff like we saw with Andrade. And then the last figure is going to be Liv Morgan, and I'm guaranteeing that this Liv Morgan will be a lot better than her other figures, and hopefully it'll have more articulation by them with Elite Series 85. I do know we got what, what was it, the, we had the Collector's Edition Elite Series 69 Liv Morgan, so adding another Liv Morgan to our collections will be great. The other day, I even, I think I almost purchased a basic Liv Morgan off Amazon, but then I ended up changing my mind. I need to do it anyway just to get it done because I don't have a Liv Morgan figure, so that is something I definitely need to do, but I never got the Elite figure. I really wanted the Elite, so maybe I can track that down, but I don't know. Elite 85 Liv Morgan looks like it'll be pretty solid, I'm sure, with a good head sculpt and everything, especially with the True Effects technology and the way head sculpts are improving. That'll probably be a really great figure, but I think that is all of the news that I have for you guys today. Again, a huge shout-out to Prime Wrestling and my boy Unstable1047 for the news here today. Elite Series 81 through 85. Out of all these figures, I think I'm the most excited for probably Finn Balor, because that's the one that we really didn't know about. I'm also very intrigued by the Edge 2020 from the greatest wrestling match ever. I hope that that is the attire that they go with. Very sick attire. It had like green and red and black. That that figure is going to be phenomenal. Jeff Hardy from Elite 84 is going to also be nice. You know what? One thing that I'm looking at that is actually very surprising and doesn't make sense to me. We haven't seen a Seth Rollins figure in a little bit, so I'm guessing that probably Seth Rollins will probably pop up in one of these sets. Maybe he'll be one of the missing figures from Elite 84. And also a John Cena has not been seen in these sets. So I don't know, man. I know we have a ton of John Cena's and he hadn't been seen on TV, but that's kind of crazy they don't have a John Cena in here. I'm sure he'll be fitting out in battle packs and basic sets that are coming very soon, but I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think of everything down in the comment section below. What figure are you most looking forward to? Which one are you not looking forward to? Which ones are garbage to you? Which one are you most excited for? Let me know everything down in the comment section below, but I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.